Hello from Superior Tech, Nolan here, and today we're going to be going over the FS2 fill sensor that gets mounted on the TKV20 material collection system. We're going to go over some specifications, how it operates, and some tips involved with the fill sensor. So let's unbox the fill sensor. Inside you have the FS2 fill sensor and a USB charging cable which makes it quite easy to charge your fill sensor. There's also mounting plate and screws included in the box. However, if you purchase a TKV, the mounting plate comes already attached to the TKV, so you don't have to worry about that. However, if you just buy the fill sensor by itself, inside the box you will have the mounting plate and the two screws you need to install the fill sensor where you would like it. Now you might be wondering, well, what's the point of the fill sensor? And the answer is, it mounts on the back of your TKV, or material collection system, and lets you know when the hopper is full and it's time to dump. Now another thing is, well, why is the FS2 fill sensor better than other fill sensors? And the answer is, other fill sensors monitor either air pressure or utilize moving parts to determine when it is time to dump the hopper. The problem with monitoring air pressure is by the time the correct air pressure is reached in the hopper and the fill sensor sounds, your chute is plugged and you have a mess you have to clean up. Also, the problem with moving parts is there just something that can break, you have to clean, and it's something you don't want to have to worry about. However, the FS2 fill sensor doesn't have those problems. It's solid state, which means there are no moving parts, and it doesn't monitor air pressure. It simply mounts on the back of your TKV or your MCS and lets you know when the hopper is full and it's time to dump long before anything gets plugged up or any problems like that arise. It allows you to operate your MCS with the most efficiency possible and get your job done. So some other interesting things about this FS2 fill sensor is it has a very long battery life of 170 to 200 hours that will easily last you a year of mowing, if not more, before having to recharge. In addition, it is also waterproof, which means if you decide to go outside and mow in the rain, that is no problem for the FS2 fill sensor. However, if you're cleaning off your MCS, I would advise not spraying this fill sensor with the blast of water from the hose. That's something you probably want to avoid. And finally, this fill sensor is very loud. You can hear it over the tractor running, the mower on, the MCS running, and ear protection. You will have no problem hearing this thing beep and letting you know when it's time to dump the material in the hopper. Now we're going to show how to mount the fill sensor to the TKV20 and how it works. First, line up these screws with the notches on the mounting plate. Push the screws into the mounting plate and twist and you're good to go. To turn it on, press the power button. To turn it off, press the power button again and wait for all the lights to go away. Next, we're going to turn it on, and you can see the lights are now going to flash back and forth. That means the fill sensor is working and searching for material. Next is alarm mode. The buzzer will alarm, the status lights will blink on the fill sensor, and the buzzer will chirp every 15 seconds. This occurs when the hopper is full, and that will continue until the hopper is empty. You can also adjust the sensitivity level. Simply press the power button when it's on to go through 1 through 5. 1 is recommended for wet grass in the spring, 3 for normal grass, and 5 is what you can use for very dry leaves. In addition, when the battery is low on the fill sensor, the buzzer will chirp twice every minute indicating the battery is low. Simply plug in the USB cable as we showed to charge. You can also tell how much battery life is left in the fill sensor. So we're going to turn it off here, and when we turn it on, some lights are going to come on immediately. Each light represents 20%. So we're going to turn on the fill sensor, and right away you see one light is lit up. That means our fill sensor is at 20% battery. And finally, one brief note, the fill sensor must be turned on after being mounted to the material collection system for it to calibrate properly. If the fill sensor was on previous to being mounted on the TKV, turn the sensor off, then turn it back on again once it's mounted to recalibrate. If you have any interest in purchasing a TKV20 material collection system with the fill sensor, 
please reach out to Superior Tech. We'll provide our phone number and email below.